Joshua Cheptegei will be at the forefront of Uganda's medal hunt at the 21st Commonwealth Games, due to take place in Gold Coast, Australia from 4th April. The long-distance athlete who enjoyed a successful season in 2017 believes the 2018 season too will successfully come through. Last year has been a very good year for me, but I also believe this year will also be a good year for me. And it's the best opportunity for me to showcase uh, my potential in terms of uh, running long distance. So I believe this is really a stepping stone to success. And I believe uh, in Australia I can do the best. The team Uganda Athletics captain says the history of long distance races at the Commonwealth Games favors Uganda. The Commonwealth Games has been really a very good event for the country where we have been uh, having a lot of success from uh, uh, Kiprop, the former Kiprop Boniface, and then uh, Moses Kipsira winning in Daegu in 2010 and 2014 in Glasgow. So we, we Ugandans, we really have, uh, we have heritage in, in the Games. So I believe we continue to go with that heritage, hoping, to, hoping that we are the best, and indeed we are the best. So we have nothing to lose, we just need to go and uh, do our best. However, this will be Cheptegei's first time to run in Australia, and his team will need to quickly adapt to the hostile 32 degrees temperature in Gold Coast. We here in Australia, it is hot, at 32 centigrade. And we are trying to mix the two. Capitolua is so cold, and this is the season for it. And we are trying to mix to go to Bulambuli down, that route which connects you to Nakapiripirit. That's why we we'll go, at least we we'll go there twice a week, or once. It depends on the climate. You cannot not place there always. In, we will always perform good in bad weathers. Yeah, I understand that it's very hot, but uh, you need to talk to my athlete, our, our, our athletes, not to consider the weather, but to consider the competition. It has now been confirmed Cheptegei and most of his teammates will fly to Australia on 3rd April, a few hours to the official opening ceremony of the Games. Sam Poza, NTV Sports.